My name is Scott Thorpe, and I'm with the law firm of Kunzer IP, and today I'll be talking about copyrights. Now, people see copyrights all the time, and they think they're familiar with them, but there's a number of nuances to copyrights that you may not be aware of. First of all, copyrights protect expression. They don't protect function. So if you create something that is an expression, something written, something that is artwork, uh, music, sculpture, a photograph, all those things that are expressions, you could protect it with a copyright. But if you create something that is useful, such as an invention or a, or a way of doing something, you cannot protect it with a copyright. Because if it has that kind of utility, it doesn't work as it, with a copyright. Now you protect, you protect things with copyrights through the Library of Congress. And basically, they have a wonderful website that anyone can use. It's called copyright.gov. You go there, you follow their steps, you pay their $35, and you get a copyright. And that's it. It's very easy to do. It is very powerful. Now, one thing you need to recognize is that as soon as you create something, as soon as you draw a picture, as soon as your kid draws a picture, it's copyrighted. Any creative expression is immediately copyrighted, but it's not registered. In order to register it, you have to go to the Library of Congress website, pay your money, and submit a sample. That's what it takes, but anytime you create something, it's copyrighted. Now, you may, you may want to uh, highlight that it's copyrighted by putting a little copyright symbol or writing out copyright, putting your name in the year that it was copyrighted. But this is not required. Even if this doesn't appear, even if this copyright notice does not appear in a creative work, it's still copyrighted. As soon as it's created, it's copyrighted. Now, what does a copyright give you? And specifically, what does registering a copyright give you? It gives you protection in case someone, copyright, someone copies your expression. So, for example, if you write a book, and someone goes ahead and, and copies that book, or copies that article, or copies significant portions of it. They copy your artwork, they copy your t-shirt, they copy your clothing. You can get, you can sue them if it's registered. And you can get what's known as liquidated damages. This means that by law, we know how much if someone cop does a certain kind of copying, they have to pay you damages. And those, the damages are very high. This makes copyright law extremely effective in stopping people from copying because the liquidated damages are so high and copying is so easy to prove that, that these cases settle quickly and they settle for a lot of money. Copyright law is very effective for, st for stopping copying. Now let's just talk for a minute about the kinds of things you can copy with a copyright. Uh, you can copyright websites. All the creative expression on the website can be copyrighted. All you have to do is simply take all the pages of your website, zip them up, and send them to the patent office. You can create art. You'll notice that uh, a lot of the, the characters used in popular stories and movies have a form of copyright protection. In other words, I can't go out and write a story where Superman is the principal part of the story because of the copyright protection for that character. I can, however, do a story that parodies uh, uh, characters that are protected, but that's another uh, discussion. Now, people, when they file for copyright protection, make a number of mistakes. And the first one is they try and copyright things that aren't creative expressions. So, for example, I had a client once that approached me and said, you know, I copyrighted uh, this way of doing a bandana, um, and I want to enforce that. Well, unfortunately, they, they copyrighted the functional use of the bandana and not the creative expression. As a result, it was very difficult to protect. Uh, they, people will copyright things like recipes, only to come to find out that that doesn't stop other people from making the recipe. It only pub stops people from publishing the recipe. It protects that creative expression, but it doesn't, 
protect people from using that creative expression. So those are mistakes that people often make in trying to protect something with a copyright that can't be protected that way. But copyrights can protect all kinds of, of creative expressions, clothing, clothing designs, t-shirt designs, all kinds of things that can't be protected in any other way. So it is a great way to protect those expressions because it's fast, it's cheap, and you can do it yourself. Okay?